what's up you guys I'm back and as you can see it is a whole new background so back in the day I used to do the natural lighting like facing the window area but now this is gonna be like the new vibe we're gonna have pink back here everything's gonna be a vibe and it's just it's up from here like <laughs> I'm tired of talking at this point I'm back we about to do some makeup we about to talk and vibe so let's jump straight into it don't waste no time be sure to hit that subscribe button and let's go so i'm be completely honest like i haven't been keeping up with like the new makeup releases like i was supposed to you know what i'm saying i was supposed to be like on every new drop posting it uploading it for you guys but honestly i haven't even been buying makeup if i'm being honest like within the last few months i want to say so yeah kind of took a chill pill on the buying makeup because this is what was happening like this was my problem so i stay in a two-bedroom apartment with my boyfriend right and i have space but it's like i need more space so i was buying makeup buying makeup buying makeup buying makeup buying makeup, buying makeup. and my collection was just looking at me like where she think that's gonna go very much given where you gonna put that where can she go on the cabinet just sitting on the dresser like no it's just while i'm still living here because I do want to get a house and I'm going to get a house speak it into existence um and I can have like a beauty room this is like our studio-ish game room vibe once I get a beauty room and I can like really organize stuff the way I want to that'll be a whole vibe and a journey at that time but right now I bought a little six drawer moment kind of like there's like the vanity and then there's those like big white dressers that go on the side they're like pull out drawers i bought one of those but it's the kind that you can like roll around and it only has six drawers in it so i'm thinking when i'm doing my makeup i could roll it in here and just have it right here versus like if you've seen what i'm doing right here like how i take my makeup from like in my little dresser compartment and bring it over here it's a wreck it's a mess like it's not even organized i'll be forgetting stuff i have i'll be forgetting stuff is probably old outdated nasty after i do this video i'm gonna literally bob the builder that contraption put it together you know what i'm saying and see how it looks so for now we're just gonna roll with it i'm gonna do my makeup for today so i can be a little cute while i'm doing what i do you know look good you feel good i'm just gonna pin this side up to be honest because this is like the side with the most hair and if i'm being honest i don't know what the other clip is like we just gotta be honest like y'all be fake bougie look i can't find it i lost it it's somewhere around here I'm just doing the best I can at this point. I'm gonna do what I do all the time. Like, this has been my go-to look. So, let me actually go dampen my sponge really quick. I know Nikki Tutorial says not to prime, it's a crime. But, I ain't been priming, to be honest, if I'm being legit with you. This is why I gotta get this organized. Do nobody got time? I'm not, I don't have the time. Or the patience, to be honest. Like, I think as I get older, I've been losing patience. Cause, like i'll throw this box let me see this is the map mm -hmm. no i don't do that rarely see that's what i'm talking about come help me organize okay let's do a little sticky primer whatever i don't even rarely use this but uh this is the power grip primer from elf this one has niacinamide in it i'm literally only gonna do a little bit of this because i'm like a texture girl and the way stuff feels on my skin if it's like sticky icky, icky it's gonna feel weird and oh let's just do a little bit of this like here this is where my makeup breaks up that's kind of where i recommend putting like these type of primers let me zoom you guys in uh into business okay so yeah this is kind of where i recommend to put these type of primers because they are sticky if i do use it if i'm being honest because i don't do primer all the time in a second we're just gonna do this because i'm fed up now we're gonna get into foundation which this is my absolute favorite foundation like the makeup by mario foundation ever since it dropped like i have been loving this now i have like dry to combo skin i get like oily in my t-zone area but like not like that really but this is so pretty like absolutely so pretty on my skin and i'm in the shade 12o which is for olive undertones got a little bit of like that that oliveness peeking through i have green veins so i'm gonna pump two pumps on the back of my hand now i used to not be this girly the type that like rubs in the foundation like this but now i do this like i do and i like the way it looks it's like it blends it in the best and then i go in with a sponge 
and I live for it. So I'm just gonna do this all over. And I'm still trying to figure out the lighting situation to be honest because it looks like I'm putting like nothing on my skin right now, but it's foundation, chest, and belief. Um, but I'm just gonna put this on my nose, really everywhere. Just kind of blending it and melting it into my skin first. So then when I go in and blend it in, it just looks so much more like skin to me. Um, but kind of focusing it where, ugh, I hate that hair like in the way of the vibe in the moment. Okay, so now I just have a little bit of foundation on the back of my hand. And now I'm going to take the sponge and just get it off my hand and then blend it in. Now this foundation is like medium coverage. Let me see. But like the glow that this gives is so absolutely stunning. Like I love this foundation. It looks so good. It's so thin and lightweight, but so glowy and so dewy. Like I love it. Even when you set it with powder, still get a little bit of the glow peeking through, which I love because I hate when things kind of when powder comes over. Of course, powder like blurs everything, but it also kind of like takes away that that glow that i know you girls are looking for this summer especially if not anytime now now i would love to know a good matte foundation that's good for dry skin because i would like a matte foundation but i just can't ever get into matte foundations because of my skin this is a really light coverage concealer this is the um essence keep me covered concealer with aloe vera it's like fragrance free vegan it is really light coverage i don't even know if i would agree with medium i feel like this is very light coverage like light medium but like definitely more on the light so i don't know about medium but this concealer i've been absolutely loving like the way that it sets is so i think it's because it's so thin and i love that so I've just been doing this concealer and we love an affordable concealer. I didn't even know I was gonna like this when I picked it up at Ulta. I was just like doing it. I didn't even really look at the shade, which this shade is, I don't know. I didn't even really like care when I picked the shade. I was just like, I'm gonna try it out. It's like $4. So even if the shade's not perfect, I'll find a way to incorporate it in my makeup routine. But I really like this. It's so blendable. It's so pretty, like the coverage, everything. It just blends really nice. I just been really, enjoying it like i don't know i didn't really ever think i'd be into those like super light coverage um concealers but this is my jam this one is so pretty and i don't know it just gives a really good finish i just like concealers that don't look too heavy and cakey on the skin because that can happen like so fast but for the most part this is pretty affordable i'm not saying it's all drugstore but it's kind of like a mixture because i have some affordable products like really affordable products that I've been absolutely loving. So, I don't know. I feel like the makeup community has really gravitated towards like the dupe makeup, the affordable makeup. I mean, we still love our expensive brands. Don't get it twisted. Elf has been like duping everybody and their mama and we all just here for it. So, I'm just taking the excess concealer and just cleaning up. Even though I haven't contoured or like used bronzer yet, I'm just kind of using excess. But look at that under eye. Like, it's so pretty. It's so... Also, you guys, I had a mirror like one of these. And <laughs> it broke. Like, look at that. I'm so disappointed about it. Because now, this plays music and also has like a light on it. Like a... Kind of like a ring light around this side. And girl, it's like... <laughs> when it plays the music, it'd be like... Rah, rah. Like, I'm just like... <sighs> No more vibing for me when I do my makeup then. Huh, that's that. I still use it though because I don't have another mirror in here. Like, if not, I'm gonna be literally doing my makeup with this camera. Okay, so my memory card went full, so I had to clear some space, but I'm back and let's do this. I think this is a little off. Hold on. Okay, so what I've been loving, it's so good, so good. So this is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Contour Beauty Wand, and this is in the shade Light Medium. I love this, even though like dirty, gets dirty easily and stuff like that. I really like this. Now I didn't think, hold on. I didn't think I was gonna like this because I was like, I don't know if it's gonna like be as like emollient 
is that the word like blendable and stuff as i would want it to be based off the pictures that's what i thought at least but this bad boy is absolutely stunning now i don't want to squeeze too much because this one doesn't have like that type of applicator where like it'll close up it'll just literally stay open so like try to just take out literally as much as you need like don't squeeze it continuously as you're doing it or you're gonna have a lot of excess product for no reason now it's not a bad thing though because it's really affordable so it's kind of like you can't lose you know what i'm saying also gonna take it in here it's what i've been doing kind of as like with excess especially um but that's really like all you need i'll do it till it's about dry so the next time i use it it's not like a bunch of product just like on their way and inside of the cap and I just close that up i actually use this with my beauty sponge and i like the way that it looks so just watch like look how blendable this is right here it just melts into the skin um another one that i really like but this is like high-end is the rare beauty um it's very like blendable like i love that with bronzers or like contours and stuff when they just like melt into your skin they make the job two times easier and that's what i need like especially on like a quick day i just want like to feel put together and stuff like nobody wants to be blending for hours upon hours especially for something so simple you just want a little bit of contour like you just want a little bit of bronze a little bit of warmth no one's trying to be here all day trying to blend i don't like to contour the nose but i do like to just warm it up at least because it's kind of weird when like everything else has like warmth and then your nose is just there nose in like just weird so just like to do that and yeah look at that like easy little that tape keeps on like making sounds it's funny but this is kind of what it's giving like warmth but not crazy which is what we need now i kind of switch it up um with the blushes i'm gonna use the um matte pillow talk uh matte beauty blush wand this is actually in the shade pillow talk they don't have this one on sephora it was like exclusive to charlotte charlotte tilbury's website so i got these on the website for this exact shade now this one has the twist twisty top so you can like turn it off and turn it back on i guess you know i'm gonna do the same thing that i did with the elf one i'm just gonna do like dots which this is like really popular in blush but also gonna smile a little bit to kind of get apples of the cheeks and then also kind of higher up with the blush so about that many dots which you don't need that many dots but i'll be doing too much sometimes but yeah i'm about to try to get my makeup organized and everything like that that's like the vibe for today it's like just kind of getting cute and then kind of figuring out my makeup situation because it's literally gotten out of hand like it's like when am i gonna do something about it i kept saying i was like i don't know what i'm gonna do and then i found it on amazon first of all everything's on amazon and surprisingly it didn't come like it said it was delivered but it wasn't but it was actually delivered downstairs in my apartment so like i'm on the third floor and it was like on the first floor like leaned up against some bricks and i'm just like okay amazon y'all need to do better like that's not my apartment it's actually nobody's apartment like what are you doing okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and set my face and i'm going to use an affordable product since we just used kind of a pricey product this is really what i use though like all the time so this is the elf halo glow powder and light i love this powder because i it looks like it's no powder but it's powder and this is like my everyday kind of what i've been doing look and I like that it's like every day but I don't know it's just so pretty like with this powder it just helps to keep it as natural as possible um, because it doesn't look like too powdery or too cakey or like it doesn't take away from that skin like finish that I love that these products give um, so yeah just been really liking this powder um, and I just put it almost about everywhere, especially I set my eyebrows. I hate like that shiny thing around the brows. Also, I love a dry powder brow to go in and, and do my brows because like sometimes powder, not powder, sometimes eyebrow products can be pretty like waxy and like shiny-ish and I don't like that. So when I start off with my brows, I like them to be pretty like dry, like no oils and shine and 
like dewy products on them and stuff like no because i need like that that nice brow and it is like flawless this is just like the powder not the powder this is just the cream products no powders yet and skin is already given what's supposed to be gave like i love that also just gonna drag a little bit of powder down here don't like to go in with powder too much though because i just kind of like the makeup the way it is especially when you set right and you do like the right steps like using a primer or not even using a primer just like the right foundation for your skin um down here won't move too much for me like i don't really have problems with my makeup over here in this area so i don't really care for setting it that's really just to kind of sharpen everything i'm gonna do brows real quick off camera and then i'm gonna come back and we can like set everything do eyes that type of vibe so i will be right back because i hate doing brows they're literally a pain and that's why i'm considering eyebrow micro bleeding so i'll be back okay so i just did a quick brow it's not perfect but we're about to do some eyeshadow since i already have this palette out i'm just gonna go ahead and use this like some neutral shades so i'm gonna mix like this shade right here this shade and this shade over here just for like like kind of like a neutral-ish shade in the crease i don't want it to be nothing crazy i'm holding my brush all the way at the back of the the base of it to get like the most diffused kind of look i don't want it to be like harsh looks like i'm trying to like build up like a deep shade just something like really natural and also kind of drag it onto the lid just a little bit but not really and do the same thing on the other eye but yeah i do want to get back into topics because the last video i did i was talking about like self-love and beauty standards and all that and i just love talking about stuff while i do my makeup because like i just be having a lot of stuff going on in my head and where else to let it go at but right here you know what i'm saying like this is a safe space secret space girls can talk about what they want to talk about how they feel in and it's okay if it's not necessarily right as long as you know to fix it you know what i'm saying like it's okay to point out those flaws it's okay to be not perfect all the time but as long as you know you know that's toxic you toxic or you know whatever it is like as long as you know you're working on it and we're working in progress ain't, no, ain't nobody perfect at all let's do nars laguna bronzer yes ma'am we're gonna get a little chiseled get a little moment so but also guys i do want you to let me know what you think about this tell me if it's cute because i'm feeling it i think it's super cute it's definitely different than like just the doors the brown doors in my apartment so i'm really feeling it and i think it's a vibe in a moment um so i'm just using like a little small chiseled brush i do need some more makeup brushes but that's the thing like i'm always like i need more this i need more that and it's like like i said space where's it gonna go like girl barely got enough space for the makeup brushes you got now you trying to add to the family like <laughs> so that's why i'm about to try to build this thing in a second the reviews are crazy though i'm not gonna lie they're like yeah like that's not even built like it comes with so many pieces the instructions is like not making sense uh you might need a drill and i'm just like i got a little intimidated when i seen the instructions it was looking like a freaking pamphlet like a full-blown book and i'm just like for a 16 like can't pop it in like why does it have to be this you know what i'm saying but it is what it is i'm gonna try to build it I am going to be dedicated to it and try to get it done. So if I can't, I'm going to have a breakdown and I'm going to cry and I'm going to throw it at my boyfriend so he can do it. So <laughs> that's just where I'm at right now with it. Just, I'm going to try it up. I want to try, you know, there's nothing wrong with trying, putting yourself out there, doing stuff that you're not used to doing. Like, no, I'm not Bob the Builder, but I'm gonna try. Okay, this bronzer is so smooth. This is what I love about it, and I know NARS. That's why they keep coming out with more and more and more because they know this is like one of their top tier products. I like their foundations too. I haven't used the light reflecting foundation from them in so long, and it's somewhere back there. That's what I'm saying. I be forgetting stuff that I have, don't use it up, it go bad, and now I wasted forty fifty dollars on a foundation. That's probably shelf life has 12 months and it's probably been 12 months and i probably used that foundation like four times i do need to get some more powdered blushes if i'm honest because i have some but 
it's not nothing special so i'm gonna take a different brush and get a little peach moment going on i seen this post and it was like pink blush was in and now it's peach and can i just say i like peach i like, like a peachy corally kind of moment and vibe i think it's really pretty so i mean don't get me wrong i think pink blush is really pretty too but i try to like do the trends but also it's like i just kind of want to do makeup how i want to do it and i don't really care you know what i'm saying like i don't even do the eyebrow trends that y'all be doing and everything like whatever looks good on you do it like just because the trend come in you can try it but if it doesn't work out for you sweetie do makeup the way it's supposed to do for your face because everybody's face is different and will look good on her and gonna look good on you and we don't got time to be looking crazy i'm just gonna kind of build this up this is like a really neutral look let me see maybe that's a little better to see like the real colors because lights really be toning stuff out like that's why you can't even go off tiktok reviews instagram reviews sometimes because like it's lighting and lighting do some weird things sometimes and you'll come out thinking you look good and you go outside and they're like girl come here get that right here let me see like you just like swore you was cute in, in your house lighting <laughs> don't let it play you i think i'm gonna do lips before i do my lashes we are gonna do some lashes um but i have a fire lip combo that i love absolutely love i literally went to my purse and the lip liner was poking out of my purse and i was like there you are you ready for me you ready for moms to come and get you Okay, so this is a um, wooden lip pencil, so you do have to sharpen it, but this is the LYS Speak Love Smooth Glide Lip Pencil. This is in the shade Devoted, and I do have a little bit of lip balm on. I like to do lip balm before makeup, kind of like in my skincare, just so when I get to this point, she ready. She prepared. She know what the drill is. She ain't dry. She ain't crispy. And dusty but i do gotta wipe a little bit of it off so i can get the most accurate um lip line because sometimes if i leave the lip balm on kind of like smears my lip liner but my lips are moisturized so they're ready this color is so bomb uh let me see it's so smooth too mm-hmm she getting contoured out. You do gotta be blended out a little bit, so don't get the clock in me. Like, girl, that's not even blended. She swore her lip liner was blended. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is NYX. This is Milky Gloss and Milk and Honey. This is the perfection. And bet. God dang, I'm almost out of this. I've been, girl, when I tell you I've been using this, like, I've been using this. Like, every time I do my makeup, and even not on makeup days. So, it's crazy. Anyways, look at that. I don't know if y'all can see how like nude this is, but it is so pretty. Like, absolutely. Yes, girl. And I don't even do like another lip product, like a lipstick first and then a gloss. Like, no, just this gloss. She's been the moment and the vibe every day. Every moment, every moment is, is her. She's the moment. See how this face is already looking cute? We already looking good? Yeah. Yes, that's that's the point. Okay, so this is not something that I would actually use. I would normally use uh, Maybelline Lash Sensational the, in the black packaging bomb. But this is Ilya's uh, Fullest Volumizing Mascara. And the wand looks like this. So I'm just going to use this because I am going to put lashes on. So... I don't feel like going in there to get it. So we're just gonna see what this can do for me uh, for these lashes, which I actually think the separation on this is pretty nice. Uh, there's a little bit of something right here, but it looks like a mole. Should I leave it? I don't know. When did that get right here? Like y'all wasn't gonna say anything? Y'all was gonna let me continue doing my makeup thinking that I was that girl? So I'm going to pop on some Kiss the Muses Collection lashes this is in the style i don't even know these had a name oh duchess there are these lashes let me see 
they're not even in the packaging anymore but they kind of look like this they're this type of lash so really like pretty i've been using these for my everyday makeup and it's so bomb so my camera's about to die so i'm gonna do my lashes and come back and we'll finish up like the little final touches like inner corner highlight and all that jam but let me do that real quick so i can look more put together okay so i got the lashes on and mind you i don't know if you guys noticed already or if you're new here but i do lashes underneath the lash line so i do them and i stick them right before like not on in my eye literally but like on the under part of my eye so you can't see the lash band and it is like the best thing like you can do any lashes really as long as you find like lashes that have pretty thin bands on them but they literally be looking like lash extensions like tell me this is not giving lash extensions you don't see the bands like and they're comfortable like it's not bothering me you know what i'm saying and they're just so cute like i just think it's so much better than it's sitting on your freaking top of your lid you see the band and it's just like i mean obviously you know i'm wearing lashes but i'd rather you not see the band than see the band you if the girls that get it get it the ones that don't don't i don't think there's anything else that i want to do for this look if i'm honest we can do a little bit of lower lash mascara just to see how this looks down there but it's not my typical girl i'm gonna put some clothes on because i've been just like lazy in my robe we're gonna do a little perfume moment i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna spray today and yeah that's gonna be basically it for this video so let me change real quick i just got dressed and now i'm feeling definitely way more put together because some days it's just like you be feeling like a bum and you just be chilling in the house and you just let time go by you're just like i forgot i could get cute oh i forgot okay so that's how i'm feeling right now but anyway so today the spray is going to be with the pink vibes because we got the pink background pink everything so well not pink everything because i literally have on like jean and white but this is the win in rio sol de janeiro limited edition summer sense if you have these use them up you know what i'm saying because like you bought them but they're no longer available but the notes on this are wild bergamot and vanilla amber this also has like pear in it i wish i could tell you exactly all of them sandalwood vanilla pear type of vibe i felt like this smelled like medicine originally like if you go watch my shorts i did like the like a short little video on it but um i like this more now so i'm just gonna spray here spray chest spray honestly everywhere to be honest a little here and just kind of get the vibes going i don't know i'm a scent person like i need to look good and smell good can i do both yes i can do both okay so that's really it for this look and everything get ready with me everything i just showed y'all everything did everything so it's not much more to do so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and until then you're really gonna have to catch me in my next video so i love you guys and yeah